Hey, what's up, guys? It's SS Modern Warfare here, Game Attack Panther Chicken, and welcome to another video. And uh, the purpose of this video is just to explain to you guys some of the stuff coming up on my channel, mainly hardware tutorials. That's going to be coming up on my channel very soon. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about that, um, and I've kept holding it off for quite a while, but um, it's going to go up pretty soon. So um, basically, I've got a number of tutorials lined up for you guys for hardware tutorials already. And just like with JTAG tutorials, I start with the very, very, very basics and then move on to some of the harder stuff. So um, just a steady progression. So basically, we're going to start off opening up a um, fat console. That'll be episode one. Then a slim console will be episode two. Then we're going to have hot swap episode three. Uh, yeah, hot swap tutorial and there's going to be um, three DVD drive flashing tutorials so how to flash a ben, Philips BenQ drive they're the easiest um, then light on DG160 2S and um, those are both uh, fat console DVD drives and a light on DG160 4S which is a slim DVD drive um, good. so those will be three separate tutorials for those and after that we're going to have a um, e installing multicolored LEDs onto the controller so instead of the default four green lights you can get like a ring of light mod and we'll do the same on the front of the of a console as well um, so you get the ring of light mod on the console and then we'll do a installation of a modded controller chip uh, which will be the Arbiter 3.5 um, which I believe to be is the best chip um, at the moment. So oh, you, you can argue that Intensla Fire is the same, just as good, but um, it's going to be an Arbiter 3.5 we're going to do for that. So um, that's what I've got lined up at the moment. Um, that's the tutorials I'm able to make um, just now, uh, but in the future, um, hopefully, I'll be able to do stuff like. Reset glitch hack tutorials and um, another tutorial I want to make is how to use a laptop hard drive as an Xbox 360 hard drive for a retail console. Obviously, it's easy to do on a JTAG, but on a retail console, it's a bit more complex. Um, so, go through that. So, um, that's what I've got lined up for you guys on hardware tutorials. Also, I'm thinking I might also start a little chain of tutorials up. That is not Xbox related, just kind of computer related. Um, got a lot of problems that you run into, how to get rid of certain viruses and um, just other just general kind of tech tips kind of tutorials. Um, and also how to um, get onto admin accounts at work, college or school computers. Um, so that's quite interesting and useful if you are able to do that so um, yeah that is basically what's going to be coming up and also I'm going to be live streaming uh, for the first time our Link Zombies game on Modern Warfare 2 that I host every week uh, every weekend uh, Friday nights and Saturday nights um, so basically it will either be Friday night or the Saturday night we will be, uh, we'll be doing a um, live stream now the reason I haven't done a live stream so far is because I know I got requested the first video I made people were saying oh live stream this it'll be sick it'll be awesome live stream live stream live stream live stream and I couldn't do it because my connection is terrible I do live in a fairly big city where you would think the broadband is good but it's terrible and um, it's probably it's probably the worst city in the UK to be honest for broadband um, I wouldn't be surprised if it is uh, basically I get about half a meg half a megabit per second upload speed and it's just impossible to live stream and host at the same time it's impossible to live stream and not host at the same time so trying to host and live stream is just not gonna work um, but luckily um, my friend the XX hacker XX is um, has got his Elgato game capture HD and uh, he'll be hosting the live stream um, he'll put up the live stream his broadband's like 20 times better than mine so um, he should be able to live stream and it should all be good and um, yeah basically I'll have a video up of that which will just say link click link in description for live stream and you can watch that because it's a bit different rather than me just every week posting up the same thing of just footage from the games that we were playing and then just me talking over it um, 
for a change we'll do a live stream and see how that goes so um yeah anyway guys that's what i've got coming up on my channel pretty soon um i should also quickly mention um some of the hardware tutorials you may find the quality is not great the majority of them the quality should be good um the the opening up the slim console is not very good because uh the camera i used for that one um wasn't a very good camera i thought it was the best to be honest it looks the best but um it's uh, not unfortunately very good uh, so that's the opening up the slim video you'll notice a decrease in the quality and the very first episode of hardware tutorials um i was using a lumix lx3 um, for the first two minutes and then the battery cut out and then I switched to a Lumix LX5 which is the one I'm using for all of my tutorials now and the LX5 has got a f much higher quality video quality um, and audio quality on it so you'll notice in the hardware tutorials episode one of opening up the fat console you will notice that the first two minutes not great quality not great audio quality and then after two minutes or I think it's two minutes 15 seconds don't ask me why I remember that but I think it's after about two minutes 15 seconds um, it should switch to slightly better quality um, or hopefully uh, you should notice a big improvement in the quality of the audio and the video um, so I just wanted to mention that so um, so anyway guys thanks for watching and I will hopefully see you guys in my next video please remember to comment if you've got any questions um, in fact, also comment or PM me if you want me to put the hardware tutorials into separate parts or if you want me to put them all in one video because the hardware tutorials um, is going to be quite long. Uh, you're talking 20 to 30 minute videos. So if you want me to just upload them all in one so it's all one video, I'm happy to do that. Or if you want me to split it into different parts like 10 minutes long, I can do that as well. So please comment or PM me on which one you would prefer so uh, yeah and like the video if you liked it and of course subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and I'll hopefully see you guys in my next video